Hi, I'm Baron Schwartz, Vivid Cortex's CEO and founder. Today I'm going to show you how Vivid Cortex's Top Queries feature can help you find and solve performance problems. When you load Top Queries in our application, the default view is to show queries ranked by total time. You can select what to rank by, such as users or databases, and you can also change the dimension by which you rank, such as looking at queries with missing indexes. The center of the page shows a table. Each row in this table is one category of queries categorized into a group together by abstracting away the portions of their text that tend to vary, such as parameters and literals. The main columns in the table show the information you've chosen to rank by. In this case, the blue bars are ranked in order of total time, and if you hover over these, then you can get more detail. You can also hover over the graph to get more detail about the point under the mouse. These graphs represent the same metric by which you have ranked, in this case, the total time accumulated for the query, but it shows how that tends to vary during the time interval that you've selected. Notice that Top Queries shows everything happening inside your entire application. In this case, we're looking at Vivid Cortex's own production systems, which is more than 50 servers. In our backend, we use MySQL and Redis heavily, and you can see that some of the queries are from MySQL and some from Redis and those are presented together in a single unified view. Let's select and drill down on one of the queries. By clicking on the query, it highlights and its details show up in the right-hand sidebar. Notice that there's a little donut chart that shows this query's relative load on each of the hosts where it appears. In this case, this query appears on three hosts in our backend. If you click on one of the host names, you will drill down into top queries for just that host. We can also drill down by time range by clicking and dragging in the spark lines. When you release the mouse, you'll zoom into that time range. Additional columns in the table are computed by regression when they're not possible to measure directly. You can switch to the scatter plot tab in the sidebar to inspect the results of the regression and see how strong and trustworthy the correlation is. The first query in this view is interesting because it has a notification. Let's drill into the details and see what's going on with that query. By clicking on the View Query Details button, we can see that it's occasionally returning warnings to the client. By switching to the Samples tab, we can look at individual examples of this query and inspect their exact properties, such as the exact SQL of the queries. Query samples are arranged from left to right in time order and from top to bottom in latency order. So we can easily see, for example, a sample that has higher latency than another. Queries are color-coded when they have something interesting, such as an explain plan, an error, or a warning. Queries with warnings are encoded yellow, and now we can get an exact sample of this query that causes a warning and figure out what to do about that. If this were a select query, we would see explain plans as well. And there you have it. That's Vivid Cortex's Top Queries application. Check out Vivid Cortex's YouTube channel for more product demonstrations.